the Sioux tribe. The Sioux, also known as the Dwellers of the Prairie, was a tribe of very fierce men and women. By the end of this video, we will show you a true historic picture of a Sioux man with his wife and horse. They raised their children to be skilled warriors starting from a very young age. The Sioux tribe also made hunting a big part of their culture. Have you ever encountered sorority girls? Rat boys? Actually, scratch that. Think of a pride of lions. That is what should come to mind when someone talks about the Sioux tribe. Just like in the movies, these tribes had impressively skilled warriors. The only difference was that they didn't acquire them from getting experimented, nor did they gain superpowers from a radiation blast. These warriors were training to be helpful in their community. Their training was respective towards their age and what role they may take up in the future tribe. The young ones would mainly focus on carrying out minor tasks in the tribe and learn to respect the authority figures. This helped them identify their individual responsibilities in the community. It also helped them function more smoothly. Biologically speaking, the young ones and the women were the most vulnerable in the tribe. It was the responsibility of the men, old or young, to protect them whenever needed. However, this does not cancel out the fact that there were also several women warriors in the tribe. The Sioux tribe often use adjectives and inanimate objects to name themselves. Each name was fitted with a person's individuality. Sometimes, when a member of the tribe had accomplished something great, their name changed as is. This was to commemorate their noble act, and it has their own personal legacy to carry. This is a picture of Annie Eagle, a Sioux woman sitting on a litter harnessed to the horse, her Sioux husband holding it by the reins. Comment down below what you think about the Sioux tribe. Click on this next video to see what the West Saloons really looked like.